And new this morning, 10 years ago this week, a massive natural gas explosion tore through downtown Bozeman. 36-year-old Tara Bowman was killed in the blast. MTN's John Shearer reports her loss has left a lasting mark in the Bozeman community. Just one person who lost their life seems like a miracle after an event as devastating as the Bozeman explosion. But the fact that it was just one person seems to highlight her loss even more. Because of the loss of Tara, this community will never, ever get past the Bozeman explosion. In an uncertain way, maybe she was the angel that saved everybody else. That's my thought. Those who knew Tara describe her as a radiant light in the downtown community. She would walk into the room and, and, and the place would light up. Ah. Anybody that knew Tara would say that she probably had the prettiest smile. You know, I remember that she always had a smile on her face. She just brought light everywhere she, everywhere, she, up and down Main Street. First responders were distraught. They couldn't find Tara. There was no way for us to get our detectives or the fire crews into that area. Uh, from the very first moment that we responded, there was no way to get to her. And that, that's the part that's still hard uh, for all of us. Tara Bowman's loss of life. Um, was a really big deal and it still is. To this day, we sort of memorialize that site in, in her memory uh, with the flower baskets that we hang uh, seasonally and we, we have a sign um, right there in front of, of the site. It's a memory shared by many on Main Street. She was very much a quiet part of the glue to downtown. But there'll always be a whole um, in the hearts of the people that knew and loved her. Family members invited KBZK's Donna Kelly to their home, where Tara's mother waited. That was just awful. It was just awful. To, I can still see that house sitting in that living room and that family gathered around her. And she seemed to me to be just so in shock. Everyone loved her. Everyone had, you know, nothing but kindness before and after this. As a mother to a mother, I wanted to just weep with her. Instead of making a TV spectacle of the family's sorrow, Donna Kelly took a quick statement, shared her condolences, and left. But she was haunted by the memory. It's hard to even let yourself go there as a mother to even think of losing your child. Even though Tara was in her 30s, they're, they're always your baby. They're always your baby.